Fleury holding his own. Your shot at Gasset. He scores! Jackets win it over a tie. Get a goal yeah. off. Dorenson in the clear. Moves in, shoots it. You guys came collector 13 years so today i'm gonna do a different video where i'm gonna show you guys how to make cards kind of like this in photoshop cs2 um this is just an example this is a sydney crosby card i made i've also made ones like this it's a pro set autograph but it's not an actual auto obviously but stuff like that so i'm just gonna show you guys how to make a card like this sydney crosby but instead, I'm going to do a different player, obviously. So, anyways, let's get started. Okay, guys, so when you start up Photoshop, obviously this new window appears. So, you're going to want to put your width is 2.5 inches and your height is 3.5 inches. Leave the resolution as 300, which is the pixels per inch. Um, for this purpose, since it's on screen, I'm going to leave it as RGB mode, but you should change it to C1K if you're printing. So that's that. Um, obviously, name your game. So let's make this a Cam Atkinson card, I guess. Here we actually. No, let's make it an Alexander Ovechkin card. So we're going to just name it Alexander Ovechkin card or something like that. And we're going to go OK. Okay, guys. So now, once you uh, boot up the Photoshop after you got the dimensions and stuff in, you get this card screen. So. What you'd start off with is you're going to name your background layer. This is going to be called black border. And the border could be different colors based on your personal taste. Um, so then you're just going to go like this and use the, I think it's the marquee tool, just be a sec. It's hard to see because I guess an OBS, when I'm using to record this, it doesn't show it properly. But yeah, um, so yeah, you use the recon rectangular marquee tool and draw your selection around the box kind of leaving like a one pixel border and you're going to want to click select inverse right click and click select inverse now you'll have just a border selected so now you could just fill this in with black paint now that you got that you got your black border in the next step is to make like a gradient background so to do that you're going to make a new layer again, and you're going to name this Gradient Background. And this is based on the team colors of the team you're using, uh, player you're using. So you're going to go Gradient Background, and you're going to go to the effects, and you're going to go Gradient Overlay. You're going to click. Here, I'll bring up the screen in a sec. Just wait. Okay, so this window will appear, so you're going to want to double click on gradient and you're going to want to choose this gradient this orange gradient now you're going to want to get the team colors obviously so on google i'm going to just look up washington capitals color palette and then you're going to just find an image that you like so let's see so we found a Washington Capitals logo, so we're going to take this red, and we're going to go, and we're just going to double click, wait a second, oh it's not showing, in editor you're going to have this window up here, so you're going to click on the first one, and put the, like the red color of the Capitals or whatever team you're using, and put that there. We're going to use this bright red, and then wait a second, we're going to just copy this over to this one, and also paste in that color code. If you have the uh, color picker on Google Chrome, it's an extension. Use that, it's really good. So once you get that, then you're going to want to grab the next color that you want to use for the caps. So we're going to use just the standard blue, so it's going to be a red to blue transition. It's going to be different, but... So we're going to go control V, get that in there, and get that like that. So now we have the caps 
colors kind of in there. And then we're going to go OK. So now what you do, you see it does not appear actually. Oh, it actually is still showing. It is OK. So now that you got your gradient background in, you're just you're actually going to want to paint or fill in the part with any color and it will come up with your gradient. So we're going to put this actually behind the black border so you, that way you can see the black border. And so now we have our logo, or not our logo, but the, our colors in the background with our black border. So now that's the background pretty much of the Alexander Ovechkin card. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring in the team logo in the background. So you're going to open it if you have it downloaded already. Just download an image off Google, preferably a PNG. I already have all the team logos in an album, so once you get the team logo imported into Photoshop, you're going to want to use your selection tool. Well, mine is only a magic wand tool since this is CS2, but you're going to want to select the entire team logo, every last bit of it, like so. The only reason I'm using CS2 is because it's free. So just copy the entire logo. If you don't know how to copy multiple parts at once, you have to hold down Shift while clicking. Like so. So now that we have this all selected, we're going to just right click on it and we're going to go layer via copy. And then we're going to duplicate that layer over to our Ovechkin card. And then we're going to close that. And then we don't need to save that. We're going to go Control T. And then we're going to make this a bit smaller. Put this in like that. Maybe make it a bit smaller so it fits in the background. Like so. And now that we got the team logo in the background, we need to add a player and our like name and team name as well which we'll add in a second so also you're gonna go back to Google and you're gonna find a picture of the player you're gonna use so in this case we're using Ovechkin so I'll find a photo of Ovechkin you should look up Alex Ovechkin PNG if you're using Alexander Ovechkin because the PNGs they're already cropped out and then it's easy just to drag in. <clears throat> so I'll <clears throat> I'll save this image to my computer and download it. Now that I have it downloaded, I'm gonna go to my videos and folder and find it. This is downloaded there. So once I find the image, I'll bring it up on screen, as you can see it's now on screen. So now we're just going to duplicate this layer again over to Ovechkin card and close that. And I'm going to control T, as you can see it's a lot easier just to bring in a PNG. This one doesn't look as good because it's not as good close up. There you go. We could actually put it behind our borderline. There you go, and behind, put the Caps logo behind it, like so. Yeah, let's make the Caps logo a bit bigger. So again, Control T. It's not as easy with the Caps logo, it doesn't seem like. But we're just going to put that right there. So now we have the basis of what our team, our uh, team card, <laughs> Ovechkin card looks like. Um, so now you're going to want to take the polygonal lasso tool and you're going to want to make a new layer again preferably on top of everything and you're just going to want to make a angled line across like that a line straight down and then back across and then another line up and connect it to so now you have this line across mine's not very good of a line it's not really straight but it doesn't really matter um so we're just going to make this a black solid line for now. I might just leave it as a black solid line just so it 
kind of blends in with the background. So we're just going to duplicate it again just because I want to make sure this is a nice thick line. There you go. And now we have this nice line across. So next what you want to do is you want to uh, give it a kind of an effect. So you're going to go back to your layer styles. I'll open it up in a second. And then you're going to want to go to outer sh or drop shadow. I use this one all the time for my stuff. So, and we're going to go to leave it at like 75. And we're going to go size. We're just going to make it bigger, like it, just so it looks kind of three dimensional. And okay, I think. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have that, so now that we have that in, we're going to take our text and we're going to use whatever font we want. So the one I downloaded from the font, it's kind of a cool font. It's called River Richardson Brand Accelerator. It's a really cool font. So we're going to put this in white and we're going to say left wing. I think oh, it was a left wing, right? Alexander Ovechkin and we're gonna just select that we're gonna make it a smaller size so we're gonna put it to 10 put this to 10 as well and we're gonna just drag this out so we can actually fit the entire thing in one like line and we're gonna rotate this so it fits our black line like so And there we go. Now we're going to give this text a bit of a shadow as well, just to give it more three dimensionality. So we're going to go gradient, or not gradient overlay. We're going to go drop shadow again. And we're going to give it a bit of a size thing, just to make it feel a bit more 3D. So once you get that back on there, you got this almost entire card complete. We're going to make this actually the back part, this this diagonal line. We're going to make it actually gray because it kind of blends in too much with the black border. And you can't see the gradient as well. So I'm going to go like that and that like that. Yeah, we should, should be good, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we got that. And it says Alexander Ovechkin. And all we have to do is just put the team name and we should be pretty much finished. So, here you go. You can just open up your text tool. You're going to make it white. And you're going to just write on top the team who the player plays for. In this case, obviously, it's the Washington Capitals. And then we're going to get that. We're just going to put it like, like that. And then we're going to also put the stroke on it. Or not the stroke, but the, um, the drop shadow. And yeah, it almost looks good right away. So we're going to use it just like that. And that's, I think, basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. So now that you have that, you got the team name, you got the player, you got the team logo, you got the team colors, and you got the player name down here. So yeah, that's how you make like a simple card like that on in Photoshop. I also might be doing ones for more difficult cards to make because I've made really cool cards. I'll probably just do a little slideshow at the end to show you guys some cards I've made. I'll make custom cards for people if they want, but I won't be able to print them off because they don't have a good enough printer. So, yeah. Um, so thanks guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.